Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this lecture, I'm going to be talking about the truth numbering system, the three most widely used truth numbering system. So each truth numbering system has a different set of method to name the primary teeth and then a different set of method for naming the permanent teeth. So I'll be discussing both of them. So before starting, I would like to explain just one thing which is important for understanding the truth numbering system. So we divide our two jaws, the maxilla and the mandible into four equal quadrants. And for doing that, we draw two lines. The one line we draw horizontally uh, and the other one we draw vertically which bisects the first line from the center. So now we have four zones, each zone representing one quarter of your mouth or one half of each of the quadrant named as right maxillary, left maxillary, left mandibular and right mandibular. The way I'm numbering these quadrants is also very important and you will understand more on this later that why I'm numbering them like this and not like this. So now let's start with the tooth numbering system. So first of all we have the Palmer system. So for denoting primary teeth, Palmer uses the capital alphabets where A represents the primary central incisor all the way to E which represents primary second molars. For permanent teeth, Palmer uses numbers instead of alphabets where 1 represents the permanent central incisor all the way to 8 which represents your permanent third molars. Now the way you differentiate between each individual tooth is by drawing a sign something similar to this where each sign represents a particular quadrant. So if I were to write let's say permanent right maxillary central incisor I would write it something like this or if I were to write left mandibular first premolar I would write it something like this. So Palmer system basically has a number for a particular permanent teeth type like for example 1 for central incisor, 2 for lateral incisors and an alphabet for a particular primary teeth type. While the sign differentiates between the individual quadrants and when you write both of them together they give you a complete tooth. So this is your Palmer system. Now because of these signs there comes a problem when writing it in computers because of limited keyboard notations. Since normal keyboard don't have these signs therefore ADA suggested the universal tooth numbering system to counter this problem. In the universal tooth numbering system while naming the primary teeth we also use alphabets but naming starts from primary right second maxillary molar named as A goes through to the right maxillary central incisor named as E which then passes to the left side all the way to J which is your left maxillary second molar then goes straight down to mandibular left primary second molar which is your K and then goes all the way to the right mandibular second molar which is named as T. And the same goes when naming the permanent teeth but here numbers are used instead of alphabets one being your right maxillary third molar, 16 being your left maxillary third molar, 17 being your left mandibular third molar and 32 being your right mandibular third molar. So the order for naming the teeth goes from right maxillary to left maxillary then left mandibular and in the end ends at the right mandibular like I've already mentioned in the very beginning. So basically in the universal tooth numbering system each tooth has its own specific number or an alphabet only to be used for that particular tooth as opposed to the Palmer system. So lastly we have the FDI system for this we will start with the permanent teeth instead of the primary teeth. So in FDI there are two digits for each tooth. Uh, one digit represents the quadrant while the other one represents the tooth. So like here 1-1 one, one represents your right maxillary central incisor, 2-1 represents your left maxillary central incisor, 3-1 represents your left mandibular central incisor and 4-1 represents your right mandibular central incisor. Notice how I'm saying 1-1, one, 2-1 one, one, or you can even say any other number like 3, 2, 4, 7 and not 11 or 12 or 32 or 47. It is because they are pronounced as individual two numbers rather than a combined number. So if I were to name the permanent maxillary central incisor according to FDI system, I would say 1-1 one, one rather than 11. And same goes for naming every teeth in the FDI system. And for primary teeth, only the first digit representing the quadrants will change. Like from 1, 2, 3, 4, now they will be 5, 6, 7, 8. Each representing the same quadrant as for permanent teeth, but now the numbers are changed. So like here, for example, 5-1 represents your primary right maxillary central incisor. 6-1 represents your primary left maxillary central incisor. 7-1 represents your primary left mandibular central incisor. And 8-1 represents your primary right mandibular central incisor. So FDI system basically utilizes two individual digits and there is no use of alphabets for primary teeth. So here the first digit represents the quadrants as well as also signifies whether the tooth is primary or permanent while the second digit represents the tooth type. 
So these were the three tooth numbering system most commonly in use right now. So a very common question that comes in our mind is that when I say right side or when I'm saying left side, then whose right side or left side am I talking about? Is it from the doctor's perspective or from the patient's perspective? So when we name a tooth, we always consider the patient's perspective and not the doctor's perspective. Since the doctor's perspective might change depending on whether he's standing in front of the patient or behind the patient, but the patient's side will remain the same no matter what. Therefore, we always assume the patient's right side or the patient's left side when numbering the tooth second question may be that that what if the patient is missing a tooth or if he's missing multiple teeth then will we change the numbers of the tooth like for example a patient is missing all of his third molars so in this case we will just omit the number rather than starting from second molar so in this case the permanent right maxillary second molar will not be one it will be two in the universal tooth numbering system since if we name it one it will mess up the entire tooth numbers and same goes if there are multiple missing teeth in the entire jaw or the entire mouth the numbers will still remain the same even if there is a single tooth in the entire jaw we will number it according to the, its own designated number so this is so there is not any confusion when you are conveying it to another dentist So this ends my lecture over here. I hope this video is clear to you. If you still have any confusions or questions, you can comment down below and I will try to answer them. So please take care of yourselves and I'll see you people next time. Goodbye.